Greetings, Gemstones. Templeton Page Taylor here, and welcome back to another episode of Hidden Gems, where today we're going to be talking about PlayStation Classic Review Part 3. And Part 3 is going to be about the True Blue Mini Meth Pack with 101 games on it, another 64 gigabyte flash drive, except this one is supposed to have 101 different games on it. Now it does come with a four port uh, USB hub, which again, does not work on my system. I have to use my older one. But let's see what's so different from this True Blue Mini compared to the Crackhead Pack. Let's see how many different games, or what different games, or on this bad boy. Let's go check it out. Come on. So here's the PlayStation 1 powering up one more time. And this is the True Blue Mini Meth Pack. Now I'm not going to spend as much time on this as I did before because I'm going to give examples of some gameplay for you guys. So again we have Army Man, Sarge's Hero 2, Batman and Robin, Batman Gotham City Racer, Beyond the Beyond, Blade, Blast Chamber, Bomberman Party Edition, Busted Groove 2. Chocobo Racing, that was a fun one. I did have that one back in my day. We've got both Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger on this one. The other one was Final Fantasy IV. Pretty cool. Uh, Clock Tower. Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. Some pretty good horror games, if I might say so. Oh, there we go. I'm a little more comfortable now. Uh, Crash Bash, another fun one. D. Uh, D stands for Dracula. Pretty interesting story on that one. Uh, my friend John, the one who passed away, I said in the previous video, my friend Blake. Uh, we actually played this on Blake's PlayStation, and we actually turned around at a certain scene, and it was just looking in a mirror, but we all screamed at the same time. It was pretty hilarious, thinking back at it now. Uh, we've got Demolition Racer, Destruction Derby, another uh, copy off of uh, the original. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why they do this, but it is what it is. Uh, you got Destruction Derby 2, Destruction Derby Raw, that's pretty cool they got all three Destruction Derby games on one stick. Uh, Devil Dice, never heard of that one, so that'd be an interesting one to play. The Die Hard Trilogy 1 and 2, pretty cool that they've got that one going on. Uh, Dragon Warrior 7, Dragon Quest 7 in Japan. Uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution, Anarchy Rules, Why Americans Want to Misspell Game Names, I Have No Clue, like Cardinal Sin, S-Y-N, uh, Fear Factor, another fun one, uh, Front Mission 3, Gallop Racer, Ghost in the Shell, Grand Theft Auto, another copy, but they have Grand Theft Auto 2 on this one, which is cool. And they've also got Grandia here, which is really amazing. I really enjoy Grandia. They've got uh, Glid Runner, Guilty Gear, Herx Adventure, another hidden gem, very fun. Um, it's almost like those games, uh, is, it, uh, is it Zombies Ate My Neighbors? The one with the kid who had the long, or the tall uh, blonde hair and the three glasses and the chick. Uh, Incredible Crisis, never heard of it. Inuyasha, another fun game to play. Oh, uh, Irritating Stick, yeah, no clue. Uh, Jackie Chan Stuntmaster, Jet Moto, Jet Moto 2, Jet Moto 3. Jumping Flash 2 is on here, that's a really fun game. It's a huge improvement over the first one. Kingsfield 1 and 2. 
Lunar Silver Star Story complete, Lunar Eternal Blue complete. The interesting thing is I played both of these games, but this one right here, this is the one I actually played and beat. I love the gameplay, the anime style cutscenes, and the voice acting. Interestingly enough, I just want to make a quick note, a lot of PS4 games had voice acting. I'm sorry, PS1 games had voice acting, you know? It was just, it was mind-blowing when you got your first game that had voice acting. So, I uh, just wanted to mention that. Uh, we've got MDK, we've got Medal of Honor, Metal Slug X, a nice co-op game, Micro Machines Versus, or V3, Monopoly, I got bored of this game real quickly as a kid, Muppet Monsters Adventures was a fun one, Muppet Race Mania was another fun one, um, the Namco Museum Volume 1 and 2, I'm surprised they don't have 3, 4, and 5 on there because they all spell out Namco with these generic covers, uh, NASCAR Thunder 2003, 2004, NBA Hang Time, NBA Jam Extreme was another fun one, NBA Shootout 2000. So you got your racing and sports fans up here. Uh, Nightmare Creatures 1 and 2, very good games. Uh, you definitely should check these ones out. Uh, no one can stop Mr. Domino. This game sucks. I hated this game. A friend of mine had it. I tried playing it. It was crappy. I don't even want to do an example of this one because you guys are going to look at it and be like, well, why didn't you use some other game? Which is what I'm going to do. So just know, this game sucks. Never try it. You, yeah. <clears throat> Abe's Exodus is on here. That's very cool. I wish it was on the Crackhead pack, but at least it's on the meth pack here. I enjoyed playing this one. This is another second one that I played where I beat it. And uh, I did beat the first one too, but I actually completed this one 100% with a buddy of mine. We spent hours and hours on this game, but it was awesome to get the best ending out of here. This one. Uh, we've got Ogre Battle, Pandemonium 2, Pandemonium 1, really fun platformers, uh, Parasite Eve. And then Power Rangers Rescue, Lightspeed Rescue, Power Rangers Time Force, Power Strike Pro Beach Volleyball, Quicks Neo, R-Type Delta, R-Types, Rampage the Time, Rampage World Tour, Rascal, Fun Hidden Gem, check it out, RCA to Go, RC Helicopter, RC Revenge, RC Stunt Copter, Rhapsody, my very first RPG that I played. Um, that was a uh, strategy type game like Final Fantasy Tactics. I enjoyed that one very much. Uh, Road Rash 3D, Roll St Cage Stage 2, Scars, Shadow Man, Star Wars Dark Forces, Test Drive Off Road, oh, sorry guys, uh, Test Drive Off Road 2, Off Road 3, TOCA Championship Racing, Tokyo. Highway Battle, so this is a good one with uh, racing games. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 and 4, Twisted Metal 3 and 4, Worms, Worms on the Get In, Worms World Party, and finally, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. That was a really, really fun game to play, you guys. I enjoyed that one. Uh, but that is the roster here. Back to the beginning at Army Man Heroes 2. Now, let me give you an example of a couple of these games here. Let's try... Let's go with Guilty Gear. Again, loving that old school PlayStation logo. I'm trying Guilty Gear because I've never played it. So that's what I want to do. I want to uh, do examples of games that I haven't played. So here's one. I'll probably do two more after this. So let's check this out. Arc System Works, Team Neo Blood, The Missing Link, Guilty Gear, That was really cool and true. I like that. Well, let's try. Let me go with May. 
I don't know what it is. I've always liked females in fighting games, so uh, check her out. Alright. Some stats there and how to do certain moves. That's pretty cool. I mean, they had to do certain moves, I mean. Oh, yellow. That's pretty cool. I guess that was the color that I chose. Handles pretty well. I guess it's just because I don't want to <laughs> taunting. Yeah, he's gonna kick my butt because I do not know how the fighting style is on this game or the combo system works. So you know. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, looks like I won. That was really cool. Oh, really? Uh, first try at that, won the game. That was pretty good. All right. Let's uh, let's try something else now. Again, hitting a uh, select and triangle gets you back to the menu here. So uh, definitely uh, that. Oh, don't worry about that. Let's. Uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, let's, I'll show you guys Herc's adventure. That one's pretty fun. We're saved! <laughs> I look how the guy who's down is the one telling you how to attack and jump. Apparently those buttons didn't work for you very well, buddy. Stop hitting me. <laughs> All right. And let's try. Let's shoot over. Uh, let's do Pandemonium. I've never played Pandemonium, actually. So here we go. We'll try this one. I'm never gonna get over that logo. I love hearing the original PlayStation logo. Oh, Crystal Dynamics. Sorry for the dramatics, guys. I'm just trying to be myself. Alright guys, let's try this again. <laughs> I love how surprised they look. <laughs> your adventure. <laughs> oh cool, 
so I'm gonna have to get a walk on. Oh, okay. okay. So. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. So you jump on enemies, and that's how you attack them. Oh, you can bounce off of those? Oh, you can... It's another one you can hold. You gotta hold down the jump button. You can double jump. I like the way it looks. Uh, you know, it's PS1, so the hitboxes aren't always the best. the true blue mini meth pack you know i would say it's got more of like a cult following of game so to speak because there's not a whole lot of popular or triple a titles on this thing but it has a lot of hidden gems which is great because i can uh do reviews on a lot of these games um so there you go we'll get back to the beginning really quick here I don't really want to try any RPGs because they're always story heavy in the very, very beginning. But uh, that's it right there. Uh, I'll have the link down below on uh, where to get this one as well. So thank you for checking it out with me. Oh, wow. This is a really cool stick also compared to the Crackhead Pack. It's definitely different. It's got more... Not as many popular games on it, but it still has quite a few uh, well-known games that are on this stick. I think uh, this med pack is also another good one to grab. You know? It's got a lot of games on it. And now I have 222 games from my PlayStation Classic. And that is really cool. I liked uh, giving examples of Guilty Gear. It looked like a really fun fighting game. I'd never played it myself. Um, Pandemonium also was a really interesting platformer. And then, um, of course, my, my classic about uh, uh, Herx Adventure. That one was also a really fun one. And I'm glad I was able to give you guys examples. But how about you guys tell me what you think? Do you like the Crackhead pack better? Do you like the Meth pack better? Now... These are the only two True Blue Mini flash drives that I have myself. Altogether, I believe there are five now. And I will have links down to all of them. Uh, there's the Crackhead Pack, the Meth Pack, the Weed Pack, the new Overdose Pack, and finally, there's the Fight Pack. I think it's really, co really cool what True Blue is doing. Um, although I have seen videos on the Overdose Pack, and I'm not a fan of that one myself, I'm kind of happy with what I got. Um, but if you're definitely a fan of grabbing these, go for it. You know, you can get them all on Amazon. I finally checked. I found all of them on there. There's even like one where you can buy all five in one, which is pretty neat. So you can definitely do that if you don't want a soft mod your system by doing auto blame or hard mod your system with blame sync and yes there is a difference between the two of them um but there you go that is the meth head pack i really think that one is cool i love how it adds a lot of games to it that are not on the first one um you know uh they're big with making duplicates for some odd reason but again that's true blue's decision you know, I like what they have on there, 90% of it. I'm happy overall. Um, 
And that will be the end of this video. So, since I've done a video on what the original 20 are, which I personally enjoy, a video on a crackhead pack, and on a meth pack, what's part four going to be about? I hope you guys really enjoy it. I want it to be a big surprise. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see my latest videos. Take it easy, gemstones.